Let's make crunchy panko tofu. You can bake this up in the oven or in the air fryer. I'm going to show you the oven directions here and then you can find the air fryer directions on my website. This tofu is super flavorful with a great texture and I can't wait for you to try it. Let's do it. Gather up all of your ingredients and then press your tofu with your easy tofu press. Pressing the tofu gets excess moisture out, which makes it nice and thirsty to drink in that flavorful marinade. It also gives the tofu that toothsome restaurant style texture. Slice the tofu into eight cutlets, and then it's time to whisk together that marinade. Combine soy sauce and water with toasted sesame oil, rice vinegar, and onion and garlic powders. Whisk that together and then pour it all over the tofu. Then set that aside to marinate for 30 minutes. In a shallow bowl, add a mixture of soy sauce and apple cider vinegar. And in another, add your panko, cornstarch, salt, and spices. Mix that all together until it's really well combined, and then it's time to dredge that tofu. So coat it first in the soy sauce and vinegar mixture, and then dredge it in the panko mixture. And make sure when you do that that you're patting the panko down. That's going to help it adhere really well to the tofu. Arrange your tofu pieces on a lined baking sheet. Spray it with some spray oil if you want to give it a crispier top and bake. Flip the tofu over, then bake it again until the panko turns nice and golden brown. Transfer your tofu to a cutting board and use a knife to slice it on the bias katsu style. Now you're ready to serve. I love to dish this up with rice or noodles and a green veggie and a little side of curry mayo or teriyaki sauce. I hope that this video answers all of your questions about how to make this panko tofu. If you have any questions that I didn't address, feel free to drop a comment. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking.